Hi, my name is Jim Hoda. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about doing a simple uh, fixture for CNC milling operation. Uh, we'll be doing a um, basic fixture to hold an injection molded part that we are going to do some secondary machining on. So here we go. Okay, as you can see here, uh, we are well underway. We have a basic uh, fixture that's meant to be an inexpensive, quick solution to a short-term problem our customer is having with their injection molded part. Our fixture is going to be made from a piece of MDF or the actual plate or base of it, uh, one and an eighth thick and roughly uh, 20 inches by 30 inches. We took some scrap leftover Ren board. It's actually uh, modulin OBO uh, as far as brand goes. Um, bolted it down, uh, some rough blocks that we had, bolted it down in uh, approximate locations and then are beginning to uh, square up the blocks and we'll be machining the detail, the appropriate detail to indicate and fixture the part and then also hold the part down for our uh, secondary machining ops. Okay, now you can see that we've cleaned up the model and we are going through doing a simple drill operation. Right now I'm just doing some real quick a minute dowel holes. Um, for your you purist machinist out there, no it's not the proper technique where we uh, drill and ream the size, but for the nature of this, you know, if I'm in within a few thou or two, we should be adequate for the purpose of the, of the prototype. So right now we're just drilling a couple quarter inch holes. Okay, now we're going to pop in some 532nd holes here. Uh, what I need to do is I decided to, since I have to do so many of these parts, uh, say 50 or so, I'm going to go ahead and uh, mount some Desteco clamps. So what I did when I did the layout or design for the fixture is I threw in a um, placement for some basic Desteco clamps. And we're just going to drill and tap those holes uh, right here and then we should be done and ready to go. Okay, what we're doing here is uh, I just jumped back in just to show you the tapping operation. Uh, I always get a kick out of this. It cracks me up to see uh, CNC machine tap. And actually, this is very, very conservative. I got the speeds and feeds turned down, and it's a soft material like Ren. But nonetheless, here you go. Uh, all right, that's it. All right. Now I've got the dowel pins in and the Desteco clamps in, which I believe are model 202-210. Pretty straightforward toggle hold down clamp that I pulled off of uh, McMastercar.com, which I might mention is a kick ass place to get pretty much anything in, uh, in a hurry. So, anyways, uh, if we zoom in a little bit here, you can see basically I'm using the pin to hold it inward and the clamp to hold it in location, and then I'm also using a, a pin on either side, referencing off the edge of the part. Um, all right, here we are, going in here and uh, popping the holes in, all that, messing around and for uh, actually a pretty simple operation, and um, but nonetheless I'll be able to get pretty good repeatability out this, maybe say 5,000s variance, which for what they're doing with this part is more than acceptable. And uh, hopefully that helps uh, give you uh, an easy idea to make a real simple... Hello, it's Jim Hoda again, and we are here to take another look at a simple uh, holding fixture for doing uh, machining of uh, parts. And this part is actually related to the part I showed you just before. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll uh, take a shot of the fixture, and the fixture's already been used a few times, so... Uh, I'm just going to show you some of the modifications I did, but it's basically the same thing. Okay, here's a look at the other part. Uh, the two pieces basically are sonic welded together, or vibration welded actually to be more specific. And the rib structure, the majority of the rib structure originally was intended to be uh, the energy director between the two parts. And uh, through developing um, the pilot and pre-production runs, we're learning that the, there's too much surface area for the uh, a rib structure contacting so basically what we're doing here is we're machining away portions of the ribs and we keep machining more and more away until and then and then go and try to weld it and then once we find the optimum amount we will have uh, the knowledge we need to go in and change the tool the injection mold 
to adjust the part accordingly for production. And basically what you're seeing here is you're seeing the same thing as you saw on the other part. It is actually a different fixture, but you know, I used uh, one, one and an eighth inch MDF. Um, we have Ren board blocks that we machined down to uh, provide specific uh, reference for the part. And what I've done is I've crudely added some blocks of MDF onto the rem to make mounting points for the, uh, the Staco clamps that we used on the fixture yesterday, uh, which worked so, so nice. It makes it so much faster. Because what I had been using before was, if you look closely here, you can see uh, those tapped holes in the top. So I'd screw in a fastener and screw it out every time. Well, this works just fine for when you're only doing, you know, half a dozen or a dozen, but I, I'm going to have to do quite a few here, and this will save a lot of time. In addition, I've learned a lot with what I can and can't get away with uh, as far as the actual machining of the parts, so I'm going to speed up my speeds and feeds to see if I can get cut my time in half. So that's about it and we'll run apart here and let you see what that looks like and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, we're picking up here where we're uh, actually cutting some of the rib structure. Pretty uh, straightforward, um, not all that exciting. We're just mowing down about 